G'day, I'm Angus Stewart, Doctor of the Dirt, Professor of the Potting Mix, and resident horticulturist at Veggie Pod, my favourite way of growing produce. You can protect your plants from possums, you can keep out the pests and diseases, and it's one of the most incredibly efficient ways of watering. But one thing you've got to be particularly mindful of is nutrients. All that produce is sucking nutrients constantly out of the potting mix and they need to be replaced. I'm going to show you how to put an in-ground worm farm straight into your veggie pot. You can purchase worms from your local garden centre or hardware, but I think fresh is always best if you've got access to a worm farm yourself. This is a recycled bit of PVC pipe and I'm going to drill some holes in it and then insert it into the potting mix so that the worms will be able to come in and out of my in-ground worm farm carrying with them their rich bounty of fertiliser. So we're now ready to add our worms wherever you get them from they obviously go in the bottom of our new in-ground worm farm and then it's time for the kitchen scraps. Got some beautiful banana peel, very high in potassium, which is great for the veggie pod. That uh, is the fuel, which is gonna provide that beautiful, rich, organic nutrient for our veggie pod. One thing is to be sure not to overload your worm farm. If it starts to get smelly or lots of little uh, vinegar or fruit flies, then you know you're giving it too much but all things being equal, those nutrients are going flowing out into your veggie pod, feeding your crops with minimal effort. Last finishing touch, Bill and Ben flower pot men, little hat for our in-ground worm farm. Happy gardening.